welcome everybody to the fastest 10 minutes on the internet. It's talking mayhem mania. Um, I am here. I'm back in the seat. I can't believe it. It's me, your favorite, um, Matt. And uh, joining me here, let's see, who will we talk to first? In a minute, in a minute, in a minute. DP. Oh, there you go, Matt. You froze up on me. I'm oh, sorry so about that. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. sorry. DP, how's it going, buddy? Oh, hanging in there. Crazy night tonight. Crazy night tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into Well, maybe we'll. Maybe we shouldn't get into that. Uh, also joining us from all the way out in Seattle, Washington, it is <laughs> Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi. Tina, tell us more about this Defy show you went to. Uh, it was, I don't know how to explain it. The energy was crazy. Saw great matches, a couple surprises, a contract offer. Mm. Um you even had one of the stalwarts of Wrestling Observer covering it. It was just an interesting, fun night at the time. Which stalwart was there? Was that Brian Alvarez? Was, was that Brian there. Alvarez? Brian yeah. Alvarez is a regular at those shows. I sat through a WrestleMania, literally four seats away from Brian Alvarez, and didn't realize it until WrestleMania was <laughs> over. Yeah, and then cool. I said, "Hi, Brian Alvarez." <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny to hear um i was um at the rwa show uh two weekends ago shane taylor was there and since i was operating a ringside camera <clears throat> i had the pleasure and the honor of being like right up in shane taylor's face for most of this match as he just did his thing and it's amazing and i've recorded uh matches of shane's a couple times and he is absolutely one of my favorite people to to get on camera because he just these some of these wrestlers they know exactly how to how to make they they know exactly how to get it into the camera you know just to hold it that extra second and uh, uh, he wrestled J Rock J Rock is a veteran knows what he's doing too so they're great together uh, just mugging for the camera the whole time it was fantastic. Uh, DP, you seen any wrestling lately? Uh, not live, no. No, I mean, the most I've seen outside is just, in, I'm enjoying Enjoy with their uh, with their latest three episode season and ending up with the casket match with uh, MV versus Mr. Grip. And that was, I, I like Enjoy Wrestling. I also like the fact that Enjoy Wrestling's uh, crowd is not obnoxious. And like, <laughs> AEW sometime and WWE, especially WEW and uh, NXT crowd, where they try to hijack. And it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, hey, we're here to watch and we want to get involved, but we're not here to over editorialize what's going Be, on. Being contrarian fans. Exactly. Sometimes. Exactly. Uh, how's it working? Like, uh, so they split the shoot into like episodes. So how's like right. the episodic storyline? Uh, playing out is it is it a pleasant experience across the shows i think it is and and there really uh, there isn't a lot well the first the first season they had it there was they had a the enjoy cup and they had tournaments so that definitely went more for the episodic first you know episode one two three four uh this last one was there wasn't a lot going from episode to episode to episode Mm -hmm. so these were really self-contained episodes and there wasn't a lot of spillover between the matches. Okay. So that's interesting. Well, hopefully that's on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yep. Free to watch. Oh right? yeah, most definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. And go they have all their history and they keep all their history on there too. So go check out uh, Enjoy Wrestling on yeah. YouTube. Go check out the Fi. I think their stuff is probably in the places where you would normally find your pro wrestling fight. Probably do it yeah. on YouTube and too. They have their own de- on demand service, but you can also see a couple of full length matches on YouTube. Yeah. And if you want RWA, um, you got to work for it, kids. You got to go to IndieWrestling.us and you got to check it out. Super easy. There's a free trial. Go check it out. Go see what Lee Moriarty did before he became famous. That's the best part about going to IndieWrestling.us. Uh, all right. Real quickly through the uh, Night of Chaos here, uh, we have four graduated matches now here in Mayhem Mania. We have uh, two matches. First, the two matches graduated on our WWE, WWE Night is uh, my grammar's. A mess. Sorry. Uh, David Arquette versus Samoa Joe. Uh, that match was created by Mad Mike. 
and Cesaro versus Dolph Ziggler, which was created by Papa Judo. Uh, these matches graduated um, not based on merit, but on, as far as I could tell, pure luck. But it's a process, so we do what we can. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it always works out. Mayhem Mania always works out, so you don't have to worry about this. Forbidden Door Night 2, uh, we have two matches graduated from there also. Sting, I should specify Joker Sting versus The Fiend versus Danhausen, which was created by Steve, uh, known to some as Ron Starks. And also Darby Allen versus Jay White versus Lee Moriarty, created by Sorgatron. And uh, we are up against the clock a little bit, but I will quickly ask the two of you about the matches you created tonight. Tina, first you, tell us about Carmelo Hayes versus Ricochet, uh, the match you made earlier. I felt like when I do these matches, I felt like something, I need to see different styles of wrestling in Mayhem Media. So a little bit of why I picked the matches I picked. This one was missing, I guess I want to say cruiserweight, high flying action. So that's why I picked Carmelo versus Ricochet. Because you don't really see those. Those two would actually have a great match on a big card if given the chance. Melo is the, and I, I feel like I'm qualified to say this now because I'm watching NXT every single week. And uh, Mello is become like the, the I don't want to say he's the ace because there's some veterans on that brand too, like Champ and others too. But he's kind of like the ace where he's just like, we need a good match. Send Carmelo out there. You know, I mean, it and like it, and it's, a, it's the current NXT champion versus a former NXT North American champion. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. DP, you uh, you went in a different direction. Yeah, I did. Uh, and, and, and you made Commander Aziz versus Omos versus Veer. Assuming Veer fight can actually un- find, assuming Veer can actually find the arena. Yeah, you you booked <laughs> Veer sight unseen. So big big risk yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, a lot of times in the past years, I tried to do, you know mixed tags you know something different something that but you know occasionally just to stir it up a little bit go with the what like i said the vince mcmahon special where it's big men who are big Mm -hmm. lumbering just spectacles of human beings who can't really wrestle but they're big spectacles and but three big spectacles of people Mm -hmm. and just see vince look like (laughs) ah That's that's. Can we clip that? We're clipping that. We're gonna clip that for later. Clip it. Oh, we got you. Uh, and uh, I was. It was my lucky night. We needed to, yeah. to make six matches tonight, so I created a newly fortified bloodline with Roman Reigns and the Usos and the third Us, Solo Sokoa, because I had to give a little love to one of the top prospects in NXT, and I am pitting them against Brock Lesnar, Shelton Benjamin, and the Alpha Academy who uh, are finally getting some respect. I saw Chad Gable. They finally have a new T-shirt, which is nice to see, because uh, Chad Gable's good for like half a dozen catchphrases now. Uh, he's doing a the great job. The Destruction Crew. Yeah. yeah. The Minnesota, the American Academy Destruction Crew, something like that. <laughs> we're workshopping this name. We're going we're gonna to get there. Um, yeah, pretty fun. Eight-man tag. Uh, the clock on the wall says it's time for us to go, but... very much for hanging out with me for a few extra minutes tonight thanks so much matt we appreciate you we appreciate the both of you and if you're curious about the inner workings of mayhem mania please go to wrestling uh we have uh we uh we, we we've chronicled this whole process for you uh very simple very very straightforward explanation of everything that's happening here so you don't fall behind so check that out check out the next tuesday's wrestling mayhem show see what we come up with next and stay May heavy. Nice and tight. Fight like a tiger. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.